What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making some delicious spiced apple and cinnamon muffins with a decadent cinnamon streusel. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my upcoming videos. Now let's get into the recipe. You will need 300 grams of all-purpose flour, five grams of salt, seven grams of baking powder, and five grams of bicarbonate of soda, 70 grams of dark brown sugar, 100 grams of plain caster sugar, 10 grams of cinnamon, and 10 grams of mixed spice. You'll also need 300 grams of buttermilk, 60 mils of sour cream, 60 grams of applesauce, 60 mils or a quarter cup of vegetable oil, 60 grams of melted butter, one apple, which equates to about 100 grams once it is chopped up, and one large free range egg. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that the first thing that I love to do is to sieve through all of my dry ingredients. This is not an absolute necessity, but I still do this step because I think it's a really nice way of making sure your mixture is nice, light and airy. Give everything a really good whisk together and leave to one side. We're then going to take our melted butter and add it into our sour cream and buttermilk mixture. I'm also going to add in my oil, my applesauce and my one large free range egg. Mix well with your whisk to combine. Leaving that to one side, I'm going to move on to my streusel topping. And for my streusel topping, with this recipe making about eight large muffins, I have about 70 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of light brown sugar, and 70 grams of salted butter. I'm also going to add in about a teaspoon of cinnamon, depending on how cinnamony you want your streusel topping to be. And making a streusel topping always reminds me of making pastry. I start by cutting the butter into the flour and sugar mixture, just to start getting it nicely incorporated. And then I'm going to squeeze it together with my fingers until we have some nice large lumps. The key to make a really good streusel is to make sure that you don't over mix and that your butter is not too hot. Last thing we want to do is finely chop our medium sized apple and I'm going to leave the skin on because I think that just adds a little bit of extra dimension to these muffins. Add your apple into your dry mixture and make sure that it is nicely coated. And then I'm going to make a well in the center of my dry ingredients and add in all of my wet ingredients. And the key to a good muffin is not to over mix. So I'm not using a mixer here and I'm just using my spatula to fold the mixture in on itself until it comes together nicely. Always making sure to check that I'm scraping all sides and the bottom of the bowl so that there are no hidden pockets of flour. At this point, I have preheated my oven to 170 degrees Celsius in a fan oven and I've lined a jumbo muffin tray with some tulip muffin cases. So I'm going to take my mixture and fill up my jumbo muffin cases until they're a little over three quarters the way full. Add a small amount of that streusel on top. I'm going to add some more, maybe about five minutes before we get to the end of our baking time. And there we go. We are going to bake these in the oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes. Our ovens and our oven baking times are always really variable. So make sure you keep a really close eye on these. Allow them to cool in the muffin tin for five to 10 minutes before finishing off cooling on a wire rack. I'm not even gonna lie, these never make it to cool down stage. They are always eaten straight out of the oven. They're incredibly fluffy, incredibly moist. Those little chunks of apple running through the mixture really elevate the bake. And guys, if you try this recipe, please tag me on Instagram. I absolutely love to see your recreations. And before you leave this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any more of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you back on my channel really soon. Bye.